This movie came out during the month of January. And do you want to know why I'm reviewing this movie so late? Because it was so bad, it didn't even have a theatrical release in my country. The Loft, or better yet, The Bullshit, because that is a great definition for this film, and is a piece of shit. So this film stars Dredd, Carl Urban, James Marston, and a whole bunch of motherfuckers you don't seem to give a shit about. This film is actually a remake from the same guy who directed this movie. So this movie features five dickheads, two played by Carl Urban and Marston, and these guys have these keys to this loft so that they can bring girls and cheat on their wives. And one of these dickheads come to the loft one morning to find a girl dead in their bed. So now it's a murder mystery and it's a piece of fucking dog shit. Released during January, during Toilet Bowl month. Now, the reason why I watched this movie is because I didn't know much about it. And I don't know. I was a little curious and it turns out that this movie is basically a shitty version of Clue. Do not watch this film. You know, this is a really good thing I didn't have the access to this film back then because wow, it is so bad. It's an awful mess with characters and a plot that you don't give two shits about and nothing can save this film. So let me introduce to you the five dickheads. Dickhead number one, Carl Urban. You can tell that this guy is trying in this movie, but face it, the man don't deserve to be in this film in the first place. The same regards to dickhead number two, James Marshden. He's in the wrong film, they're a waste. Dickhead number three, nothing to say, just nothing. Dickhead number four, he just loves to get hyper and very angry and, and his performances were just pretty embarrassing. And dickhead number five, BO! He is so annoying, he's just there and he won't shut the fuck up. Now these five guys, you don't care about them, you don't care about their issues. Caring about these people is just like caring about a guy who threw a baby off a balcony. So fuck these guys, they all suck and as for the plot, well nothing makes sense, it's horrifically convoluted and it's a train wreck. Now when I saw Mordecai, I didn't give a shit about the plot, but at least there are a few scenes that got me sort of entertained, but in this movie, nope, nope, nothing. And it doesn't help that this movie has a lot of shitty dialogue, the script is filth, I mean, what the fuck? But there was one, and I mean one point where I thought this movie was going somewhere, and I was like, okay, we're finally getting somewhere. But then the twist of the movie comes and then, boom! Remember in my Hot Pursuit review, I said it had one of the worst twists since No Good Deed? Well, in this movie, it's even worse. And as a matter of fact, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think this movie is at the same level as Hot Pursuit. And it's that bad. Do you want to know a really awesome mystery movie? The Usual Suspects. Now this film has flow, it has characters that you really care about, and it's intense, and it has a really mind-blowing twist. I mean, this film is awesome, and this film is so awesome that I'm motivated to review this movie in the future one day. The Loft, however, has absolutely none of that. If you see this movie in stars, give it the finger. If you see the poster, give it the finger as well. If you see another person with a copy of the film, give him the finger, take that copy, and smack that person across the face with it. Curse this movie, guys. Curse it! Curse it! One key out of ten for the loft. <laughs> well, at least it's the summer blockbusters. So, that is my review of the loft. Thank you for watching. More views on the way.